Hey, this is Mike Swanson. Uh, it's January uh, the 24th, Wednesday. I want to give you a quick update on what's going on with gold. Uh, it's really trading like it did in December. Now, today, uh, the gold price gapped up a little bit on the open from where it was yesterday. And then all, all those gains are just evaporated uh, just like that. And gold went from being up uh, to all the way up to 2037 to now it's a 2018 as I'm speaking. Uh, it's a 20 point swing, boom, gap up, and then it falls. We're looking at the Kitco price chart. But if you look at a daily chart, this is the GLD ETF that tracks the price of gold. Um, and it's a way to invest in gold in a portfolio. Uh, you can see that so far this year, it's down uh, from where it opened on, on January or really the December 31st. Gold is down year to date. In days like today, where it gaps up and fizzles, it's frustrating for people. It's frustrating for people that own gold that it's down so far year to date in January. But this is exactly what happened in December. In November, gold took off and had a big surge. And then once the calendar switched to December, as you can see in this chart, gold fell uh, in the first like 10 days of that month. And then it rallied back up and soared uh, to a new high by the end of the year. Now it's pulled back. Uh, but what I think is similar is that dip and then that turnaround. I think that's what we're heading for because I think what caused the dip in December is the same thing that's causing the dip now. Go back to November and you can see this rally. You can see the bottom in October. And that November rally happened right after the Federal Reserve held an FOMC meeting. And then it rallied. And there was the beginning of a shift uh, from the Fed being hawkish on raising interest rates. Think back to September, October, when the Treasury bond yield went over 5% on the 10-year, people were talking about, oh, rates might go up to 6%, inflation's not going away, the economy's strong, there's no need to lower rates. And then in November, that message shifted, and then December, a decisive shift as the Federal Reserve actually began to predict interest rate cuts this year. That put a lot of buying into gold and it soared. But what we saw in that November rally and going into that December Fed meeting was worries that, look, things are getting overdone on, the, on, on, on what the general public and traders are predicting about the pace of rate cuts. And these worries, these worries took, made people uh, sell gold and take some profits and it fell in that Fed meeting, and then the Fed meeting came and gold soared. I think the same thing is happening now. Uh, when this year began, the predictions people are making for interest rate cuts this year was that the first rate cut would start in March. And now uh, the Fed fund futures market has gone from pricing in a 75% chance of a rate cut in March to roughly 50-50 as I'm speaking. And I wouldn't be shocked if it diminishes even further. Look, uh, the current economic data does not justify a rate cut. Uh, in the latest CPI report still showed that CPI is over 3%. We had strong economic data in the last unemployment report. Uh, in GDP in the, in the last quarter is positive. The St. Louis projection of current quarterly GDP is around 2%. There's no economic reason for a rate cut, but the Fed wants to lower rates, but the pace of those rate cuts are not going to be what people were hoping for. And that's why the rate cut odds of March diminished, but in May, it's still over 90%. The Fed wants to lower rates, uh, for political reasons, and it's going to do that. Um, and I think what we're seeing now is gold, you know, selling off or trading week into next week's Federal Reserve meeting. And then when the meeting happens, 
there will be a new rally in gold after that, a new move up. Um, and we're just setting this up. Same thing happened in December. And I think it's happening again for the price of gold. Um, I don't really expect it to, to really fall much further than where it is now. But uh, overall, this is not unusual. In fact, if you go look at 20 years of data and what gold does with Federal Reserve meetings, I think, I know, <laughs> you what you will find is that when gold rallies in the Fed meetings, there's also often profit taking. And then when gold fades or trades weak in the Federal Reserve meetings, there's usually a rally after the meeting or, or the day of the meeting is when the rally starts. I think that's what's lighting up now. So that's my take on what's happening in the price of gold. And uh, so far, gold is doing exactly the same thing it did in December. Now, if you want more analysis like this for me, uh, hit the like button. So I know to talk about gold more than I have other topics lately. And if you want to get the next video, hit the subscribe button and hit the bell next to that. And YouTube will send it to you as soon as it's online for you.